Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Nessa, in voiceover format again. We are back today with another DIY with me video. And today we're gonna be making NCT binder covers. Um, You guys know I am an OT23 collector, so I have tons and tons and tons of extra NCT albums, um, specifically Resonance, because I had to buy so, 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 so many. It's very, very hard to sell these albums if you're someone who owns a lot like myself. Um, so yeah, I would rather reuse these for like collages or scrapbooking rather than, you know, just kind of hold on to them and let them collect dust. After all, I did spend a ton of money on these albums and I am allowed to do with them whatever I want. Um, so if you guys don't like that I'm cutting up this album and reusing it, please click out of this video. So first up, I am just cutting out um, pages that I really, really like. So now I'm using my handy dandy paper cutter. This is like a 10 year old paper cutter that I have. Um, I'm just using it to trim down to all of the sections that I want to keep or the sections that I like. Um, and I'm also going to use scissors as well when I need like a closer cut. All right, so here are all the pieces that I finished cutting. Um, and so you can see I have lots of different like pieces, lots of different shapes. So yeah, I also didn't show it here, but I also saved every single piece of scrap paper that I had, no matter how small or how big. They make really, really great accent pieces. So you'll see me use them later in the video. And I also saved the album for future purposes as well. All right, so moving on now, I'm going ahead and trying to figure out like a color palette that I really like. Um, I'm just going ahead and choosing a bunch of random colored cardstock paper that I have. Um, I decided this looked a little too avocado-y, so I decided just to go with a green, white, and a yellow kind of theme. Um, this is my color palette. The reason why I chose this version um, of the Resonance albums out of all of them was because I wanted something really bright and something really cute for my binder cover. I didn't want something that was a little more like dark or dreary, so I picked this one because this one has like a natural like scrapbooking vibe to it and a very bright and happy one. So yeah. And basically now all I'm doing is I'm pretty much just um, kind of like like scrapbook style, like you just kind of style things and put things where you want, um, just testing it everywhere everything goes. And then when you have a format that you like, I'm just gonna go in with my handy dandy double-sided tape um, and I'm just gonna stick everything down. Honestly, it's just a process of like, you know, testing things out, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. It does take a lot of time, but um, I think I did pretty good, you know, for someone who's not very artistic and not very good at art. This video was actually about three hours worth of footage, so it took me about three hours to make the binder covers for the front, the side, and the back of my binders.
The nice thing about doing a scrapbooking style like this is that, you know, because it's like a scrapbooking style, it doesn't have to be perfectly neat. It doesn't have to be like perfect at all. It kind of has that like unperfected charm. Um, I think it's just really cute for someone who, who's not very good at art like myself. Um, and it's a lot easier to pull off than like a very like bullet journal style, which I think is absolutely stunning, but I don't have the skills when it comes to bullet journaling. All right, so we finished the front cover and I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it in. And now we're gonna be moving on to the back cover and I'm pretty much just gonna repeat the process of like um, picking out pieces of pages that I cut out and we're just gonna be kind of like setting things up and seeing where I like certain pictures and certain things and yeah. All right, and here we have the back cover all finished and I actually really, really loved the way it turned out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the side piece, the side cover. All right, and there we go. We're finished with the side piece, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and peel off this lovely Target sticker that's on the side of this binder and replace it with my lovely little um, new side label. Right, so now we have the front cover, we have the back cover, and we have the side. And honestly, I would have to say this turned out really, really well. I absolutely love the way this looks. Um, and knowing that I'm not very artistic, I'm actually so proud of myself. But this is pretty much the end of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.